Among the many reports of UFOs in late 1973, one incident would stand out because of the credibility of the four witnesses. This is Major Coyne, Army helicopter pilot, his co-pilot, Lieutenant Arrigo Jetsi, Air Medic Sergeant Healy, and Robert Janicek. These men had just finished their annual flight physical early that day and were found fit and sound of mind. They would take off from Port Columbus Airport about 10.30 p.m. But what was about to follow and the subsequent report they filed would put to the test the credibility of these men. Approximately eight miles east of Mansfield, our uh, crew chief, Sergeant Robert Janicek, observed a red light on the east horizon. Our did you gentlemen see the same red light? Yes, I did. Our helicopter was flying on a northerly heading. We were flying at an altitude of 2,500 feet. Uh, he indicated that the light seemed to be pacing the helicopter, moving along in a parallel direction with our aircraft. Which direction from the helicopter was he at? Uh, moving, it was, in the, it was to our right, to the right side of the helicopter. And it was moving with us as we were heading north towards Cleveland. Now at this time, uh, he indicated that the light change its direction was coming directly at the helicopter at the same altitude. And as the helicopter uh, was maintaining a speed of 90 knots, the object came at a terrific speed from the horizon. We estimated 15 miles. Visibility was reported 15 miles that night. Did you gentlemen see the object at this time after it had been pointed out by the uh, sergeant? No, not at that time. I was flying left seat or co-pilot, and the visibility from that seat from, from an object approaching from the right is rather limited. So I was having uh, a difficulty seeing the object. And it was that for that reason that Major Coyne did take the aircraft or the controls from me. I grabbed the controls from Lieutenant Jetsy because I thought it was going to hit us. I braced for impact. With that, I pushed the collective down to get the helicopter to start to descend. I then looked at the altimeter. It was showing 1,700 feet. We were descending 1,000 feet a minute. The helicopter began to descend. And as this object came at the helicopter, it seemed to descend with the helicopter. When the helicopter went down, the object came down, but still came directly at our broadside, as if to hit the helicopter from the right side. Did anyone else see the object at this time? Yes, I was watching it come out of the east horizon. And uh, the only thing I felt was when uh, the skipper took over the controls and we started to auto-rotate down. And I'd never been involved in a mid-air collision, so I was just watching this thing come at us. It was at this time a light came, swung 90 degrees from the UFO towards the helicopter. And it came in through the front of the plexiglass, and the entire cabin inside turned green from the light. It was a pyramid-shaped type light that beamed down and came through the front of the helicopter. How long was your aircraft bathed in uh, this beam? The light uh, that came into the cockpit apparently lasted only for a few seconds, but it was enough time that I observed the red instrument panel lights utilized for night flying to be absorbed by the green light. Was it possible for you to determine the outline of this object against the star background? Yes, sir. It was a cigar-shaped object, like a symmetrical airfoil with the dome on it. It was a solid object. It was a metallic structure to it. And uh, you could see lights reflecting off the structure, because, and you could not see any of the stars or uh, behind the object itself. Well, while all this was going on, uh, what was the attitude of the helicopter? Apparently, when we were supposed to be descending at 2,000 feet a minute at 100 knots, we were climbing at 1,000 feet a minute, with the controls still established for a descent. And it, we went from 1,700 feet up to 3,500 feet and topped out at 3,800 feet. But I would like to stress one important fact, and that is there is approximately 20 years of Army aviation experience between the four men on board the helicopter that night. We have been trained to follow procedures and regulations in reporting incidents, regardless of how they're accepted. And we tried to follow those procedures. And we reported the incident as it occurred and have avoided any speculation on the subject. 
UFOs. It has begun.